hello, hello, guys. Hello, everyone. How are you guys on today? Guess what time it is? It is story time with Miss Doris. I am so excited. I have an awesome book for us in today. Well, guess what? Today's story we are going to be reading is The Longest Christmas List Ever. And this book is written by Greg and Evan Spirodellas. Greg and Ellen Spirodellas. The Longest Christmas List Ever. Wow, how long are you guys' Christmas list? I don't think it's going to be as long as this young guy's Christmas list here. Well, guess what? Let's go ahead on and get started. I would like to greet everyone all over the world. I would like to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world, but guess what? You guys are just in time for story time with Ms. Doris. I'm so excited. Shout outs to all of you out there in story time land. Hello to Elena. Happy birthday, princess. She turned two years old. Happy birthday to you, Elena. On um, today, shout outs to you, POCC family. Hello, guys. Person elect Lady Washington. How are you on today? I hope your day is awesome. Hello, Minerva, Shakana, Shaquavia. Hello, Arius. Hello, Poopas. Hello, Samaria, Sarag, Champagne, Alexe, Zanaya, Martel, Diamond, Lakeisha, J. Marie, Skyler. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day. Hello, Janelle. Hello, Rose. Hello, J. Rock. Hello, TM. I missed you on today. TM, hello, Aries. Hello, Goddess. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day. Well, guess what? I know you guys are ready for that story time song. But remember, when we're doing that story time song, make sure you are practicing safety, safety first at all times. I don't want you guys hurting yourself or getting injured. There it goes. I want to hear you sing really, really loud. Guess what? It's the holidays. You can sing loud. So every time with happy holidays to all of you all over the world. Story time with Miss. Story time. Sing to you. Tell you all just what to do. I love that song. It's story time. Story time with Miss. I know you guys are going to be tuning in because guess what? There is no school. And reading is still important. Story time with Miss. It's story time. Story time with Miss. She'll read to you, sing to you, tell you all just what to do. Wow, you guys are awesome. I heard you singing so, so loud. Well, guys, guess what? Moms, dads, nanas, papas, tutis, uncles, cousins, go ahead on and have a seat while Miss Doris read you an awesome, awesome Christmas story on today. The longest Christmas list ever. Turn the music down just a tad bit. It's story time. Sherry to you, say to you, tell you just, just what to do. On a Christmas morning, not so long, long ago, in a house on a hill, all covered in snow, a sleep in this bed was a little boy, Trevor, who dreamed it would be the best, best Christmas ever. Story time. Tell you all just what to do. His parents were snoring at 545. When Trevor crashed into their bed with a dive, wake up, wake up. Y'all gotta come see all of the presents stacked under the tree. Uh-oh, someone is excited. He is waking up his parents at 5.45 in the morning. Guys, don't do that. Remember, we're just reading a 
story. Parents are tired. They have to get rest. They've been doing lots and lots of shopping. He ran out of the bedroom and bounced down the stairs. There wasn't a doubt that sick Nick had been there. A scooter, a game box, two trucks that collide. He tore open gifts. He tossed them aside. Uh oh, oh my goodness. Is he being grateful? I know you guys are going to be really, really grateful and appreciative of your gifts, which you're going to get this holiday season. <clears throat> then it suddenly hit him. The one thing he'd missed, a fluffy brown puppy was not on his list. Trevor knew what to do, and he didn't postpone it. I'll start next year's Christmas list this very, very moment. He snatched up a notepad, a pen, and a seat and started his list at the top of the sheet. Uh-oh. Look at his parents. What do you guys think is wrong with his parents? Is that a happy, is that a happy face that his parents has on their face? Or is it a sad face? Whatever your parents get you on this holiday, make sure we're being really, really grateful and thankful for whatever we receive. Some not getting much, but guess what? Appreciate what you're receiving for this holiday. I appreciate life and God's new grace and mercy on this day. At first, he thought small, like the lizards and trials, but quickly his list spiraled out of control. A remote control playing with a camera inside, an invisible robot that's easy to hide. Look at all his toys. Binocular glasses with night vision mode. A rip roaring go kart to tear down the road. Suction cup shoes to walk on the ceiling, a nuclear jet pack, now that sounds very, very appealing. kept writing and writing and writing day in and day out. His paths fill up boxes and boxes now scattered all about. They spilled out of his room into the hall, then snaked down the stairway and climbed up the wall. Wow, what gifts! That's a huge, huge Christmas list. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of gifts that he wants. All boxes filled with Christmas lists that he wants. By spring, Trevor's list stretched 500 feet. By summer, it's made its way on to Main Street. Oh my goodness, look at all the boxes of note tabbies of gifts. Man, I think it sounds like he wants the whole world. That's a lot and lot and lots and lots. He wants everything. By fall, it was two blocks behind, beyond the bookstore. 
By winter, it reached the post office door. That's lots and lots of boxes. Look at all those boxes and boxes filled with notepads, what he wants for Christmas. That's a huge Christmas list. Oh. Trevor stepped up to the counter inside. I must mail my list, he said with great pride. But the mailman let out a, a hoot and a holler. To send this whole list cost six trillion dollars. Whoa, that's a lot of money. Six trillion dollars. He must be a billionaire. Trevor then emptied his little coin box, a nickel, two dimes, and three dirty socks. One bit of an advice, if you've got just a quarter, go back to your list and make it much shorter. Oh my goodness, that's good advice. Thank you, sir. Look at this. The post office man gave him a little advice because his list would have cost him trillions and trillions of dollars. Hello, Royce. How are you on today? I hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. I hope your day is awesome. Trevor was stricken with his panic and fear. There wasn't much time. Santa's deadline was near. He worked day and night without breaks to eat to try and squeeze everything onto one street. But time it was short and his letter tremendously. He missed Santa's deadline and felt plain horrendous. His list was too long. His list was five hundred feet, which cost him a trillion dollars. Hey, Royce. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's fine. He's going to catch the replay. Royce, I hope you're getting a good, good nap in. Hello to you. Hello, Tristan. Let's see. Hello, Royce. Hello, Tristan. Hello, Tahir. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the baby's name right. Tahar, Tahir, Ataj, Tashir. I don't know. I think, is it French? I'm not for sure. But hello, mom and dad. I'm glad you are tuning in. Tristan. Hey, Tristan. How are you on today? That Christmas Eve, Trevor lay in bed. Joyous, he knew in the morning that he would be boyless. What was I thinking? Where was my head? I asked for too much. I'll get nothing instead. His list was over 500 feet of a Christmas list and everything that his parents bought him for the holiday. Guess what? He wasn't grateful. So whatever you get, make sure you're grateful. In the morning, he trudged down the stairs without edge, certain there'd be nothing under the tree but mom and dad must have sent Santa a letter because a puppy appeared and bounced little Trevor. There's his parents again. His parents looks really, really sad for the holidays. But guess what? There's the puppy that his parents gotten him for Christmas. Maybe they couldn't afford much. Lots, a lot of parents can't afford much but guess what guys whatever you get just be grateful they rolled on the floor took turns giving chase trevor squealed in delight at the licks on his face his prior mistakes was now perfectly clear it takes love not toys to bring christmas cheer wow that was awesome 
The end. I enjoyed reading this story. Even though Trevor was ungrateful in the beginning of our Christmas story, it ended up he was grateful after all. So whatever we receive, guys, on this holiday season, make sure you are grateful. If you see a sad face on mom's or dad's face, give them a hug and tell them that you love them. And thank you so much, mom and dad, for such beautiful, beautiful gifts. So I'll read this last page again. They rolled on the floor and took turns giving chase. Trevor squealed in delight at the licks on his face. His prior mistake was now perfectly clear. It takes love, not toys, to bring Christmas cheer. Christmas is all about love. The end. The longest Christmas list ever. Wow, this was an awesome, awesome story. After all, I enjoy reading this story. And I'm glad that Trevor finally realized what Christmas is all about. Love. Christmas cheer. That was awesome, awesome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember, if you're not feeling well, always, always let someone know that you're not feeling well. And they will take really, really, really good care of you. And when you're out and about, make sure that you are wearing your mask. It's imperative that you wear your mask. We are still practicing safety, safety first. And don't forget, make sure you are still washing and sanitizing your hands at all, all times. I enjoyed reading your story on today. Remember, well, tomorrow is Wednesday. Wednesday, we are doing um, Christmas toy drive giveaway. So I think, I don't think I'm going to do a story time reading on tomorrow. I may do it. I'm going to be a vendor. So maybe I'm going to do a live story time tomorrow. We're going to have over 460 kids at the event tomorrow. So I am excited. I'm so excited. And don't forget, guys, tune in on Thursday. We have a special book we're going to be reading. Arthur is Armaya, Armaya from Armaya Unique World. Armaya has over 999,000 followers. Wow, that is so awesome. So Armaya is going to be tuning in on the live reading of her book on Thursday at 12 noon. So I did put it on Storytime's page as an event. Say your prayers, never give up, and keep, keep pushing this is our maya's unique world we are going to be reading her book on thursday she's a nine-year-old author and she is blind so tune in to reading of amaya's book on thursday so guess what hopefully we'll get some of those followers man so guys don't forget share 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 story time with your family and friends and if you missed the story time all videos are housed on our Storytime YouTube channel. Thank you so, so much. So I'll go on live tomorrow at our event. Our event starts at 10 o'clock tomorrow, but I'll go on live maybe. I'll go on live for about 12, for 12 o'clock. Hello, so, so. Hey, so, so, how are you? Hello, Miss Ebony. I missed you guys. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome, awesome holiday. Take care. And don't forget to smile. Love all of you. Happy holidays.